A couple weeks ago, I feel like I made it very clear that I had no intentions to use watercolors like ever again. And honestly, I believed it, but clearly I lied. <laughs> this is the Arts Next watercolor box and I am just so intrigued by what could be in here. I've never gotten one of their watercolor boxes. I think they're once a year, but they're like big boys. They ain't cheap. Look at this. I don't know if you know the size of a normal Art Snacks Plus box, but this is deeper. And it's got purple tape. And it's got a little paintbrush pretzel. And I don't know what they have in them. Like, I assume maybe some paintbrushes, maybe some really good paper. And I feel like my biggest problem with watercolors is that I just don't, I don't use them correctly. But I also find that when I get a really good paper, I actually enjoy watercolors more, even if I still prefer other art supplies. So I'm excited to see what they curated. And without further ado, we'll jump right inside. Ah, paper, paper. I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna put this box on the side. Is this weird? I don't know what this is. Um, <laughs> am I struggling? Let me try my nail file. Ooh, ooh, ooh. MacGyver. The brand looks familiar, although I don't actually recognize it. Does that make any sense? This is the Laquerel, Laquerel Hanson Heritage. 140 pound, and there are 12 sheets. Did you count them? This is heavy. Put the box out of the way. We have the, oh, it's winter, so maybe it's quarterly. I've never done these before, so I'm really excited. There's our sticker, it's a bit larger. So like this is from a normal art snacks box. You can see the size difference. I really like that purple color. It matches the tape on the box. <gasps> is it liquid watercolor? Okay, I actually kind of like liquid watercolor because I, it's not like up to me to mix it and it like usually turns out better. I'm actually excited. We'll see if that lasts. <laughs> I do have a very strong disdain for most watercolor illustrations that I make. There we go. Let me clarify. All right, this looks like some paintbrushes. Ooh, three different brushes. Well, this one's clear. Oh, it's the glacier brush. It's so see-through. <laughs> That's really cool. I feel like it matches my nails. So all three of these are brown brushes. This is a number two. This is the Princeton Velvetite. Ooh, velour. This is the number four round. And then this one is the synthetic Kalinsky Sable Brush. Ooh, it's from the Elite series. And this is a number eight round. All right, also, oh, we got a full-size candy. We got an orange airhead, how nice. I love airheads, they're so good. And then the rest is all liquid watercolor. It looks like it's Dr. P.H. Martin brand. Should I get them all out of their little baggies? So we got five bottles, apparently light fast with professional quality in a glass bottle. This is the color Payne's Gray, so that's like a blue gray. We've got ultramarine red violet, blue aqua, ultramarine, and turquoise blue. So they're all bluish tones. That's really cool. This seems like a palette I can handle, so I'm very excited. I don't really want to swatch on this paper because it's so nice. I kind of just want to use this. I think this is cheaper. So we'll, we'll just do a little swatching with this. Maybe kind of just figure out what I want to do. And then once I have an idea, we can probably move to this paper and start thumbnailing with colors to get a feel for that. All right, I think I got a plan. Now I just need to figure out what I'm going to do with that plan. I think first up, we're just going to grab our colors and uh, arrange them on my little floral palette. Here's ultramarine red violet. Ooh, -hoo. we got Payne's gray. Let's do ultramarine, do turquoise blue. I want to swatch them without adding any water first, just to see their full, rich, professional, light fast pigment. Grab those paint brushes. We'll start with the medium sized one, because I think I've had brushes in both of these before. But we'll start with this. Let's just swatch them all out. Ultramarine, red, violet. A little Payne's gray. Got some ultramarine. Turquoise blue. I think my paintbrush was a little wet on that. That's why it doesn't look as black as the others. I'm trying to dry the brush a little bit better. And then we have blue aqua. So there they are, like, undiluted. Now I guess I'll dip my paintbrush in some water and kind of see what happens. Mmm. I actually don't know how to do this. Ooh, what I kind of need is, like, one of these things for each color so I can have a range of shades. Hmm. I'm just pondering. 
I'm trying to make them go lighter as they go down and clearly I'm not doing that right. But I am getting a better feel for like what each color looks like and like some of the variety that you can obviously get. I feel like we're gonna have to do some kind of like seascape or something. Probably just let those dry while I ponder my other possibilities. <laughs> well, they didn't really provide anything for sketching. I suppose I could sketch with watercolor. Grab that one and I don't know. We'll start up here where it's like more diluted. What if we just sketch something like plants? We could even grab the darker stuff and kind of like drip it on there. Could even grab like the greener one, drip it in there. I'm just gonna fill the whole brush with this. Let's draw a big leaf. <laughs> That's a leaf. I'm just like having fun drawing these like leafy shapes, pushing it down and then making it really small. What if I do the leaf backwards? Just makes it a little pointier. I think I'll go back the other way. I think it'd be a lot prettier too if I didn't go so thick on the color because it's kind of just looking a little black, you know? Like see how pretty that one is. What if I do like a lighter wash? So put a lot of water on the brush and do like a leaf. And then when that dries, literally use the same color to add like a little stem detailing about like petals. I don't know why I'm drawing plants <laughs> with the colors they sent me. <laughs> the little flower. Kind of destroyed the purple. I've mixed it in. But look at that galaxy. <gasps> we could do galaxy. I might need a bigger paintbrush. This is like a big fluffy brush that I just found. But I want to just kind of like grab a bunch of water, blob it on here, and then grab some of this purple. Whoa! Ah! I was not expecting that. But just draw like a nebula, you know? I think I want this one. Probably like assist it a little. Maybe add some swirlies. Ooh. Or we can just let the water decide where it wants to go. And then I'm just gonna grab the paints gray and we're gonna like really, ooh, and I see now that looks like space. I feel like we're gonna need a lot of this. Put that up there. Let that dry. Go back to, is this dry? Ooh, that is. Grab that tinier brush. I'm just gonna use this color. Draw like a leaf texture. Ooh, that works really well. I could probably even use it for like a little shadow or something. Ooh, I am not steady for this. Eey. But like a line art. Ooh, ooh. I don't know if I've ever told you, but I love, that must be where this is coming from. My favorite like fabric is like a white fabric with little dainty blue flowers. So like these guys, so like little tiny blue flowers, sort of ditzy floral. And like a white background. Ooh, that's kind of cute. So what I did, took a pretty wet brush, grabbed the blue. I just kind of like blobbed a flower shape. And then when that dried, I'll, sh I'll just show you. Why am I saying it? I can't show you yet. You know what I kind of want to try though while we're waiting? I think if you take a clean brush, you can like lift. I need a dry brush. Let me grab one. Yeah, I'm gonna try and lift some of this purple, make it lighter. Okay, no luck. What about the wet brush? Mmm, that's doing something. But I wanted to like lift the purple. Maybe I have to wait for it to dry. Now that that's kind of dry, I'm gonna grab that same blue. And then I just kind of did scribbles like, ooh, there's a flower here. Let me just do swirlies. But I don't worry about like tracing it exactly. Do you even have like a little dot? Hmm. This is basically green. So if I like wanted to actually do a plant, I could probably take that into consideration, you know? That's so fun to just draw leafy shapes. I wonder what happened if I mix this with this. So it makes blue. Maybe I'm looking for more of a yellow color. That's what I want to mix with it. I need to establish some kind of objective here. I'm just gonna add one little star. Just to get an idea of what we're aiming for there. I'm running out of room on this piece of paper. But we'll just keep drawing something. I really like when the paintbrush is just fully saturated with some kind of pigment and then you can just paint it on without it getting all dry. So it's basically like a marker and the smoother you do it, like the better it kind of fills in too. I really like that. So I like mix it with a slightly different color to get a different hue. Very pretty. It's an interesting shape. That looks very organic. I like that. Let's use some purple, some kind of flower to make a lighter purple. Pretty, pretty, pretty. What do we think? Looking cool. All looking cool. Pull this out if I can without ruining everything. Let that dry. I'm gonna try and do a rose. I've heard you can do roses with like a big poofy brush. You just kind of use a light color and make your rose sort of shape. This is our base floral shape. Maybe a little darker in the center. A little depth. Does it look like a rose yet? <laughs> uh huh. Ooh, that's lifting right there. Oh, I don't know why I added blue. <laughs> I definitely want more purple though. Think of it as like swirling. I kind of lost the shape I really liked out of this one, but now I've got like a couple hue shifts. Well, one, one hue shift. What I don't like about this is I lost 
a lot of the contrast of that like light wash that I did first. Like if you look at this, there should be lots of variation of this in there and I lost that. I want to think of that moving into this next one. I'm going to grab some of this. Try to just think of a rose. I think I tried to define it too much. Maybe it's time to grab this guy with some water, kind of blobber. Actually did get rid of what I really didn't like about it. Oh, this is dried. It actually has a little bit more contrast. I wonder if I could just go in with another layer. Kind of deepen up things. Ooh, pokey dots. What was I doing on this? What was happening? Let's dry. Yes. Stars. I find if you have a bunch kind of scattered, so if you go around with a big scatter, then you just do clusters from there. I feel like that usually has a way of looking kind of realistic. Do like a big one every once in a while. Voila! My little galaxy. Draw my little swirlies. Ooh, those are really cute. Like the blobs and then a darker swirl on top. Still haven't figured out what we're going with yet. I just keep drawing flowers because apparently that's what I want to do. Maybe if we go on this while it's still more wet, I won't get that really refined vibe that I didn't like. All right, but I gotta figure this out. I can't just keep... I mean, I need to though. This is how you practice. Hmm. Ooh, there's little hearts. I got tiny little wine I can make with this medium sized brush that he gave me. I'm practicing. <laughs> what are you drawing? I'm practicing. These guys on it. Oop, can't go that direction. Maybe I should just find like a reference or something. I could also like sketch something with a pen and then add a fun wash on top. Like if I drew something. Hmm, what's something I like? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe an animal. Like an octopus. Like figure out what he's gonna look like. Fill up some space with him. Oh, maybe he's cute and got big eyes. So like you have your sketch, right? And then when you go with the liner, you'd be extra crazy with like adding in different sort of details. Make sure you like the sketch first, of course. <laughs> Bigger pupils might help. Just I don't know where to put all these legs. I picked the wrong animal. Starting small might be better. A shrink of triangle for our little octopus body. Now one, two, maybe not sit him on something. Three, four, seven, and another one back here for eight. He doesn't really have a mouth. Should I just give him a mouth anyway? Like a little... So we can smile. I think that's important to me. <laughs> what was next? <laughs> I lost track. Okay, I think line art. I might grab a kneaded eraser and just lightly do this. This is dangerous when you have so many sketches in one place, but let's do that. Grab that liner that I used earlier, and we're gonna try and just be very expressive with our lines and not be too stingy. Probably should just figure out the overall shape before I get too crazy though. I'm kind of going for a fine and dainty line art vibe. So like this would be a really good place to have a bunch of little dots and texture. Mmm, little suction cups. And this one actually turns a little, so then you see the inside. All right, so now that I've done this, I don't really want to do my plan, but I'm going to anyway. I'm gonna grab this bigger brush, lots of water. And we're just supposed to like blob it on here, kind of like fill it in, but not too important to stay in the lines. The camera turned off, I wasn't paying attention, and I added all this blue, and now it's not purple anymore. Ooh, what if I make him a galaxy? <laughs> a galaxy octopus. That's honestly not a terrible idea. It might be salvageable. I don't really know what I was trying to do here. Hmm. Let's draw another octopus because I feel completely lost. Another little octo. Gonna try and make this one only purple though. Try a different technique. Fill it in. Some of that paint's gray and fill in the eyeballs. Ruined that one. Means I'm done, right? <laughs> See, I guess that's just what kind of experimenting looks like. It's not gonna be the prettiest thing. Should I try and actually figure out what I wanna do? I really do wanna use this crazy paper they gave us, but I'm too scared I'm not ready. Well, now you know why I said I was never gonna do watercolor. Don't know what it is about this art supply. I hate it, it hates me, one or the other. <sighs> You don't know this, but I just left. You made sugar cookies. That doesn't tell you how stressed out I am about this. I've decided after some uh, careful consultations with other humanoids on this planet that these are the perfect colors for a blueberry. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna, gonna try and paint a blueberry. Oh, but first I gotta give this guy some eyeballs. Now that everything's dry. 
could even use this for some extra shading here. This guy's growing on me. I might just give him a little galaxy. I'm gonna do this guy first. This guy makes me happy. This is a bit of a struggle bus, but we got there in the end. This is Blueberry, our octopus, and he's gonna hang out while we paint a blueberry. Do I wanna include a lemon? I can't, I don't have yellow. Oh, I'm scared. This is like nice stuff and I'm just, am I ready for this? I think I'm gonna start with a sketch. What if I draw blueberries and there's an octopus hiding in there? Mmm, wait a minute. So like if we have a big old blueberry with its like, Something like that. And then maybe another blueberry. Then we'll have our little uh, octopus. I feel like it's gotta look nice and cute and innocent. I like this idea. It makes zero sense. But I mean, if it's all, little... <gasps> I could Google a baby octopus. Ooh, their eyes are literally all black. Maybe if I just make them smaller and make sure they're shiny. Okay, we got two little leggies. I kind of want to give them like little spots. Maybe another blueberry back here. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six visible legs. And he's behind things, so that's probably plenty. Is that a little line art? Quick and figure out where everything is. And this blueberry. There we have some like line art. Now we can kind of go in with a wash, at least the first wash, definitely. Guess we gotta figure out the color scheme. I'll go find a reference of the blueberry. So the blueberry's kind of a light color with deep shadows, especially in the center bit. So, shoot, it's on the back of this. My swatches, shoot. Ultramarine and Payne's gray. It makes like a nice dark blue. And we'll fill in the blueberries with this. It ended up a little darker than I wanted, but we'll just fill in this whole blueberry with it. I wanna add more water for the next one. Some more of that. This blueberry. Go back to the slightly darker version for the inside of this. Might need a little more Payne's Gray. Feels like they just sort of have a lot of shading. I wanted to go in with a lighter color to kind of build up from. They have a lot of texture too. It almost is vertical like this on the blueberry. <laughs> kind of looks like an onion though. Can add a little bit more of the gray. Get look a little more round too. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. Definitely needs to be darker. Needs some more of that Payne's gray. Yes, there we go. I think that looks like a blueberry. They're a little bit redder. So I guess I'll take some of this purple just to bring a little warmth into that. I also just want a little bit more purple on the actual blueberry, just for my own satisfaction. All right, now I gotta figure out what I want to color this guy. Oh, this is probably a really bad idea. That should be the last thing I do. Oh no. Yeah, that was a really big mistake. Okay, well, we'll figure it out. I'm thinking, like, I wonder if I could do like a green? I'm gonna add a little blob here. Let's see what a green to purple gradient looks like. So green up at the top, purple at the bottom. Create like a gradient between them. Definitely want it to be lighter than that though. So let me grab a much lighter version of the green up at the top. Light purple at the bottom. So maybe like where we have green, we'll have the dark green spots and where there's purple, we'll have dark purple spots. So I'm gonna start with the green, the light green I mixed and do the tipsies of his little legs. I kind of just want to get a good base layer of this. So all the little toes match. Stay away from that eye. Stay away from that eye. It's like the references I saw, the octopus like gets lighter colored at the top, almost like more transparent. Add some kind of like <laughs> dinosaur design. I don't know. I'm not crazy about the color scheme. Maybe if I just go in with the dots. I feel like that has a very good octopus vibe. The dots, I'm gonna include some down here too. I think we're done coloring this guy for now. Oh, that's so much cuter. All right, we're gonna have to think about this, but I think we can move on to the big page and just sketch him out because I kind of know what I want there. And then I'll meet you back at this page when we figure out the colors. All right, let's start with a little sketch. Oh, should I tape it down? Okay, so we're not filling in the background, so I don't have to be too precise. Just have to make sure it sticks. And this should at least add a little bit of precaution against buckling. All right, we've got it down. It actually looks kind of pretty. <laughs> Let's go ahead and draw this little blueberry octopi. I want his head like here with his little smile. Oh, he looks like a little Minecraft guy. His body would be like here somewhere. Coming around a blueberry, coming around a blueberry, around this blueberry, and then there's blueberry. <laughs> you get it, there's a lot of blueberries. So then this was the big blueberry that he's kind of curling around. Blueberry too. Maybe we'll put him over here so you see more of our octopus. One more with an oval instead of a circle. Okay, and then we had one back here, like a little crown. Maybe color in the eyes so we get a feel for what that'll look like. So then this is a leg that'll have come like this. 
And this guy, I had it go like up and then back down. Look at this guy. I'm gonna make him even smaller back there. It looks more separated and distanced. I'm still thinking about these dots. I want them to look more like this than what I did up here. I want them to be more random and organic. And then we want the one that comes up. Kind of curls around this. Okay, he's very high on the page. I okay, had another blueberry just here. Kind of pulls it down a little. Still not a huge fan of this section. I kind of like my layout on this one because it was like the blueberries and then the octopus is just kind of hiding. So I'm just erase this blueberry and this leg and we will redraw that whole thing. So we'll just move the blueberry like here. I'm thinking if I pull this leg forward a little, it might fill in a little better. Ooh, I do like that. Suckers. All right, add in this blueberry now. I feel like this needs to curl a little. It looks like a tail. All right, it definitely looks different than this one. I was making it look the same at first, but I kind of like them both in their own way. What I'm worried about, because I think these turned out really, really well. I'm happy with them. What I'm concerned about is the Lacto. So I want to try and make him look like that, which is weird because I thought that looked dumb when I made it originally and now I like it, so. The brain's a crazy thing. I'm also going to get out our fancy eight round Aqua Elite brush. So let's grab a bunch of water. Another thing I could actually do is use my spray bottle and just add some water here. So it's like a much more consistent color. Just use whatever this color is. Although wait, that's the blueberry color. See that like desaturated blue? We want him to be a brighter blue. So that's not going to work unless I add some. And let's start here. Start with this back leg. This isn't even the right paintbrush. What am I doing? All right, now we're getting out our elite paintbrush. Not holding as much water. I'm also going to avoid the suction cup for now. So we're ready. Could even be more vibrant, I bet. I think there'll be room for more layers. And then this leg. So we're gonna grab Ultramarine and Payne's Gray. And then a bunch of water. I can already tell this is a much different color than the octopus. So I think we are heading in the right direction here. I can really see how this paper is making an impact. Like it seems to spread the water evenly. Like the texture is so cool, but it doesn't have like squishing around. I think the paper will really show itself when we're trying to like layer it multiple times. We'll see, we'll see. So that should do it for the base layers. Go a little darker over in here. If we're not doing line art, I'm probably gonna have to go over this stuff a lot. Really differentiate the different sections. You know what I need to do? I have put away my reference and I clearly need it. Let's go even darker. More Payne's Gray, I think, is what we need. To get less saturated. Might as well go for a little detail right along the edge. Kind of create the texture of the blueberry. Doing it in strokes away from that little crown. Do that same thing where I'm like pulling away from it. Working away. This one's little bloom thing is like way too big. I definitely exaggerated them. Especially now that I'm looking at actual references. Nothing I can do about it now. I also wanted to add a little purple. Ooh, it's dark. Oh, we still have dish blueberry. Alrighty. I think I'll switch to a slightly smaller brush and use that same color we mixed already. This dark blueberry blue and color in these spots because I'm pretty sure I like them. We can just throw them in. I haven't determined what color the little suctions are going to be. I think I'm going to try either a very light purple or a very light blue green. I'm going to try the purple first. Fill that in while we're here. Hoping for a little more contrast than that. We'll let that dry and we'll see. Okay, everything's pretty much dry. I'm thinking I'm just gonna go in with a line art. So grab that clear see-through brush and just go around, start at the top left so I can do the whole thing without waiting for it to dry. And after have I'm gonna do it in purple. So I'm gonna make it as thick and deep as I can. And we'll just start on the left here and see what happens. Try to draw real dainty like. Basically it looks black. <laughs> so the purple idea doesn't really matter. Fill in this eye. There's one. Make like a big swoosh. Oof, I have such difficulty with brushes. They're so squishy. Grab a little highlight and fill her in. I need to get over here. I don't like the thickness I'm getting. I'm also happy with the color because sometimes it looks black and then sometimes you get like a hint of that redness of the purple. Oh, now I gotta draw these tentacles, which I feel like I really had a hard time doing with a pencil. And I'm gonna do it with a brush. Wish me luck. <laughs> I don't look too bad. You my merry little way. <laughs> I 
You can see how I'm putting the liner on the inside of the blue to try and make it look a little smaller. <laughs> I think I want to like, when this is all dry, kind of like add a little bit more oomph to these suckers. <laughs> they just could use a little extra work. Okay, so if this is dry, I can kind of test my idea. So I want to take the lightest green I can find and really dilute it. And I'm just going in between the suckers to make the suckers look lighter. I also wouldn't mind going in with even more water if I clean this out again. Going with like a lot more water with the green. And I kind of want to just go on the tips, kind of blend outwards. Give it a little variation. I probably should leave it because I like it. <laughs> Don't touch it anymore. I think that's. Oh, wait, shadow. Uh, Payne's gray again. Just add like a little shadow. Ta da! I think that's it. You know what I could do? I'm scared, but I want to try it. I want to take this purple and add blushies. All right, that is it. That does it for the day. I hope you're happy. I used watercolors. Honestly, I'm kind of happy myself to be able to do it because I know it's always interesting to try new art supplies and stuff and to revisit ones that you think you hate, which I don't. Hate's a strong word, okay? These are pastels. They don't make me itchy. <laughs> So we're fine, we're on good terms. I just, I do struggle with the art supply. But there you have it. Here we have little Bloob and his blueberries. Oh, you know what would be cute? Mm -hmm. Ta-da! All right, now it's done. <laughs> I think it's really cute. I'll just do one little tape peel for you. There you go, ready? Beautiful. Thank you guys for watching. If you're interested in uh, checking out art snacks, I'll have links in the description, or maybe the description instead. <laughs> I'm really proud of my uh, sticking through this, coming up with something to draw. I feel like that was the hardest part, honestly. <laughs> Not necessarily the watercolor. <laughs> I'll give you a little close up. Oh, he fills the whole screen. Very cute. No, I didn't do add any little highlights. All right, that's gonna do it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next week. And I hope you have a delicious evening. Bye.